Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from NoobKill coming at you with another NBA Infinite Mobile video. So guys, of course, in today's video, we are going to be talking about a little bit like a wish list. I have a list right here of features that I would like to see added to the game and all that goodness. Uh, now, we've had NBA Infinite for almost two months now, and I've been absolutely hooked on this game. I love it, man. It's just been so much fun. And you guys can see on the channel, we've been posting so many NBA Infinite Mobile videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. The support on it has been fantastic, so I do appreciate that and all that goodness, guys. But of course, before we do jump into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to the comment squad, guys. So, of course, guys, if you guys want to have your chance to have your comment featured in one of these videos, all you guys do is just drop a comment in the comment section below. Could be anything like, are you guys enjoying these NBA Infinite Mobile videos? Or, of course, my absolute favorite. Tell me, guys, where are you watching these videos from around the world and everything like that? I love seeing those types of comments, man. So make sure you guys drop it in the comment section below. But let's jump into it. Now, of course, I got to give my hats off. We got to give our hats off to the team. They've been a really amazing with, of course, um, I guess, communication and everything. There is an MB Infinite Discord. If you guys want to join that, you guys can click the link in the description below. I'll go ahead and link it. And, of course, guys, you know what? I am part of the MB Infinite Courtside Creators, which is fantastic. And we they went and sent me this package in the mail. I did go ahead and record the unboxing. I just need to go ahead and edit it. And we got some we got some heat, boys. We got some heat. But yeah, we are part of the Courtside Creators program. If you guys are content creators and want to join in the program as well, I'll leave a little link in the description for that. Um, but yeah, man, the team is always listening to the feedback, which is really amazing. They might be in this in the video comments right now, reading all your guys' feedback as well. So that goes on to my next thing, guys. If something that is not on my list right here that I didn't mention, and you guys have things or wish lists as well. Tell me in the comment section below. I can move that that feedback to the team, or they can read it in the comment section below. Um, so yeah, man, if you guys are wanting anything added to the game, um, drop it in the comment section below and all that goodness. But of course, let's jump into one of my first things that I want to see added, um, kind of like some features and stuff like that. Two, of course, practice mode. Practice mode is a great great place to be in guys um of course when you're ranking up your cards when they're unlocking new skills uh different dribble moves different shot animations and all that goodness it's a great place to go ahead and practice practice your timing for jumpers um and all that goodness so one thing that i would like to be added would be if we're in free play let me get rebounders. Let's have some rebounders in practice mode. Um, and basically helps you, of course, shooting the ball. And once you're done shooting the shot, boom, I get a rebounder. Pass me the ball. I don't have to shoot the shot. Either makes it or clanks it. And then I have to go chase the ball down. It's just like save some time, right? And then obviously, if you're practicing a skill move, you're not after going back to the top of the key. Because there's no running the game. The guy literally backs up um to the three-point line it just gets tedious right it gets tedious and especially hey man i'm practicing those skill moves i'm doing my crossovers and i hit that shot now you have to do that whole thing all over and bam i just have a rebounder reset at the top of the key again bang perfect um so yeah that'd be something i would like to see added um into the practice mode another one could be like an ai bot that you can have set up um so you can you can have a defender or you know so like um if you're trying to practice those crossovers what gives you the best um or what feels the most comfortable to get you so your um your defender gets their ankles broken or something like that just to have a practice you maybe can set that that bot on like easy medium hard as well so it's easier to get by the defender and everything like that so that could be something Something that I would like to see added into the game and everything and just into practice mode. But of course, my big one is rebounders. That would just make it a lot more feels great. But I do love that practice mode does have um, those little videos and everything. Those are fantastic. And they keep on doing those if they're releasing more skills. I love that. It makes it so much easier to learn the skill and everything, having it like shown you. And then, of course, the, the actual visual and everything. So I, I, I really do enjoy that. So they're doing a really good job there. But of course, we get rebounders and maybe an AI to practice practice against that'd be fantastic um of course guys i know a lot of you guys are saying we need more cards in the game and i agree and then you guys saw the thumbnail right there we got my boy scotty b hashtag we in the north i would love to see a lot more players added into the game um and i know we have like our pool system and of course like uh, the marketplace and it's not too bad i feel like um it was really great with Team Infinite. You're just getting a, a, a influx of cards, and that's what's good in the beginning of the games. But once you kind of get past your Team Infinite stuff, um, it's kind of hard to get tickets and everything. So I would like maybe a different type of or more opportunities to get players as well, not just new cards. Obviously, we want to see 
every single player in the game, Legends included. Um, Legends will be a little harder because they will. there is a, like a little bit of a licensing issue, licensing thing that they need to do, but they can definitely go ahead and get some Legends in the game and everything. Um, but definitely new cards would be fantastic. And just like another um i guess route that we could possibly get cards as well not just in star studded hoop drafts or whatever or, or the marketplace like those are basically the only two ways or the prime collection but again uh for a free-to-play player it is kind of tough you kind of hit a wall eventually um and i understand i i'm very un i i do understand that of course guys um and i hope you guys understand this as well the game is a free game you don't have to pay anything to make the game or anything like that um and the the, the game and the developers they, they they need to keep the lights on right there's still there's still people working on the game they need to be paid and everything so there needs to be some microtransactions here and there but of course i would like to see it that maybe like the epic pool draft I feel like yeah it's cool um but it's like Wemby was it was just so it was just so tough if you were not buying IC you couldn't get Wemby cuz if you're going to get you're going to pay for Wemby you're going to buy the Wemby and you're going to want to play with that Wemby or upgrade your Wemby and everybody has Wemby on pre-order but no one can get a Wemby card, right? Because So I wish there was like different ways that you could obtain players and everything like that just a little more different route so it's not like Hey, it's either you buy the IC or you wait maybe a month or two for when someone doesn't want their Wemby no more. And that kind of sucks that you might drive away players because, hey, man, I am a Spurs fan and Wemby's our number one draft pick and he's my favorite player now. And I really want to play with him, but I don't have the funds to drop the money on Wemby. So I'm not going to have Wemby. So that does suck a little bit. It's going to push people away a little bit. So maybe having more opportunities to get different cards. Of course, like I said, they need to make their business side of the things. And I understand that. Um, but maybe some more free-to-play options um, than in just the market. Because literally, you know, even if you were to buy, you had all the money and the, <laughs> all the coins in the world. You had millions and millions of coins in the bank. No one's selling their Wemby cards, so you're not going to get your Wemby unless you bought them in the draft. And then, of course, when that draft disappears, it, it, there's no way to get a Wemby now. There's legit no way to put a Wemby unless someone poses them. And not a lot of people are selling their Wemby cards. But, um, yeah, so on that topic, I want them to possibly make some more different routes for us to obtain cards. And, of course, bring out some new cards as well, new players, um, all-stars, and all that cool stuff. And I'm really intrigued to see what's coming in the May update and, of course, uh, what we're going to get for playoffs and everything. We definitely should be getting different players and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Playoffs are right around the corner. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm really, really hoping that we get... My boy Scotty Barnes. That's all. That's all I'm saying, right? I hope we get my boy Scotty Barnes. I guess that's the final point on that one. All right, man. Um, the next one, of course, is um more events, different events that rewards cards again, and this kind of how we can tie getting different cards in. Now, you guys seen we've had like little bitty events here. I did like the 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 Easter egg one. You could get a game changer ticket. I did pull a game changer ticket. I got one only. But hey, man, it was absolutely free. Didn't have to spend anything. Just play the game. I understand that. Um, and then of course the light it up they gave away the gems now i want to see like come some different types of things like if you guys know that i play a lot of madden mobile um and of course other basketball games as well you guys know that they have different events and they have a thing called sets and trades now i don't know how that would work with our i guess i guess you would say system uh, of how, like we said, it's pretty cut and dry. Open the star studded tickets or the hoop draft, or of course, you get players from the market, right? There's no other way, but adding in events that give us players possibly um, from playing the event and having sets that, hey man, let's say, let's say for the play in, right? They have a play in MVP. Let's say Lakers go off and Lakers make it in, right? We get a new LeBron card. And in order to get that LeBron card, you can play these events events um and in that lebron set you need to put in specific players and that's how we can keep value on different players in the game like older cards like when they start releasing more cards guys right um since we do have the auction block let's say in that lebron set you need to get uh spencer dinwiddie ad and maybe a young lebron let's say let's not make it too crazy like make it prime lebron right you're already having the ad's like seven mil um but then you get a new shiny lebron with new new skills new everything so that'd be kind of cool and having those sets will be 
nice because you can build into the LeBron or of course you can I guess I don't know they can they can do something where they can make uh, you can just buy LeBron or make it I don't know but I would like to see them add some type of an event that pays out players again I would just like to see more ways players can get cards and stuff and not just the two different methods of hey man you're gonna either open up uh, a hoop draft or of course the market just different type of options that you can go ahead and get player cards i guess so um and of course having events um in the game that could pay all players as well so that'd be that'd be really great um and then of course guys i know a lot of you guys have been asking for when the game first released like a pve type of mode and i think that'd be great um have your chance to like grind with your team i know a lot a lot of people as play as much dynasty mode as of course 3v3 but hey man if you make a pve maybe mode um people will start building out their full five line five uh starting five lineup um and then of course you can play against the ai um and you can go all the way to the larry o'brien trophy and basically get some more rewards there so that'd be cool to get some different things and i hope it's not if they do bring a pve mode it's not like hey man you're just getting gems in there and coins i want to see them say okay you're gonna get this card uh you're gonna get this card or you're gonna get a pack that gives you a chance at a, a legendary or something like that i would love to see that um added implemented into the game and again a pve mode again that's just practice that's just more practice so when you do jump into 3v3s and maybe the ai is better than than the real people so we'll, we'll see how that goes and then my final point maybe more cosmetics and again i know it is a business at the end of the day but maybe have some cosmetics um that don't only last three days like i i love the thing with the saint patrick's day everybody was rocking that stuff but it only lasted three days <laughs> <laughs> it only lasted three days uh, maybe having um outfits that don't have a time limit um that you can have forever and maybe you can grind towards that outfit like man you got to play like 30 games in 3v3 uh or drop like uh, do hit all these achievements right like make me grind for it but i will grind for it if it's free right if if, if there's some options that people can get some free cosmetics uh maybe like a shot effect or like a a, a jersey or like a hat or something like that that'd be kind of cool i would like to see them add more cosmetics i'm a i'm a a big thing on cosmetics i love that type of stuff in games um I, I love it i love it i love that some people have the ball that has like the the fire so it follows it i think that's sick man so again i do like the cosmetics in the game i can't wait to see they will definitely add a lot more um but i also want to see some opportunities for free-to-play players to get these cosmetics and not just have them last for only three days maybe a little longer maybe a month maybe maybe take away the time limit i don't know it's just close right it's just close <laughs> at the end of the day um but yeah man those are just some of the topics that i wanted to talk about in today's video we might make more down the road of when they do implement some features maybe we get some features here maybe we don't um but if we do get some things and then hey man maybe four months or half a year in, into having nba infinite we'll find some different things that we want to go ahead and spice up um and all that goodness guys so we might jump back but again if i missed anything that um that you guys have been itching to just tell um feedback wise or some implement things some things that you guys wanted added into the game drop it in the comment section below guys but yeah, man, I know I went on a tangent here and there. I'm a little long-winded. I apologize for that. But yeah, man, those are some features again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do agree with these um, things that you want to see added to the game, go and smash that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know we post out any other NBA Infinite mobile videos. Like I said, we do got a little unboxing video coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Always stay hype, and we'll catch you guys soon. Peace! What's up? Yeah.